All right, and welcome back to Cold War. Today we are leaving this police complex entirely. Uh, we will be escaping from Spetsnaz and the KGB, other, you know, normal police forces. Uh, it's it's going to be bad. <laughs> Lots of dying, I predict. But <laughs> we'll see. All right, let's do this. Well, it looks like we've escaped unharmed. No thanks to that little blaze of yours. I'm sorry about the fire, but... Quiet! Well, aren't they a friendly-looking bunch? They remind me of Those the droids are from Star Wars. The Soviet special units. The probably under droids. Barinsky's command. And the They're not are... usually stationed here. Barinsky has definitely called in, as you would say, the big guns. I don't like them just because they made I me I say we get out of them. here. Now! You lead the way and clear the escape route. I'll follow when all is clear. I don't like this plan. It's a horrible plan. Who put you in charge? Why must I do what you tell me to? I never agreed. Where are we going? I need to go to the storeroom. Okay. locked. Ooh, goodies. Briefcase. Oh, I like briefcase. 125. We can make this. My health is really, really low. I just noticed that. <sighs> Wait a minute. Hey, it's a use for the coin! Awesome! I'm gonna stick with this, though. Did not go that badly. Could have been a lot, lot worse. I'm fairly pleased with those results. Let's go. Don't tell me to let's go. I'm calling you. Fine, we're safe. What now? 
Sonia's interrogation records are gone, and the rest of the evidence burned up in Berinsky's safe. We need to get the hell out of here, and fast. Agreed. Quiet! Someone's coming! Your temper will be your undoing, comrade. When Vassal tells what you did... He should know better than to touch my Sikhs. I warned him. He'll spend a week in the infirmary after that crack on the head. And all for a stupid cigarette. Nobody touches my Sikhs. And he won't tell. He knows I'll do worse next time. But now, instead of Vassal, we have this rookie. Nobody knows him. For all we know, he'll turn out to be a Dorak. What's with those ha, giant a lights? A fool and a cripple. I heard his arm is broken. Probably touched somebody's six. It's supposed to be night vision? <laughs> we'll find out soon enough what kind of soldier he is. The convoy is leaving soon. First thing he's going to learn is to buy his own cigarettes. Convoy? Has got an issue. Convoy to where? Good question. If Parinsky's Spetsnaz goons are on that convoy, I'm sure it has something to do with his plan. I need to be on one of those vehicles when it leaves. Any thoughts on how you might accomplish that without becoming a corpse in the process? Uh, they were talking about a new guy. Somebody they haven't met. Who has a broken Yeah, arm. a guy with a broken... You're not serious. Who would have thought this arm of mine would become an asset? Now, we must find this man and get his uniform. I doubt he'd be inclined to hand it over. What do you suggest? Follow him around until he's ready to hit the showers? I believe this calls for a more active approach than that. So I'm just supposed to wrestle a Spetsnaz down and take his outfit. Yeah, that's... It's gonna be a great plan. Everything will work out awesomely. have some heavy footsteps. I'm checking the air. I have got no health. You can't hide forever. Moving back. <sighs> I'm gonna crawl through just in case it was our night vision. Goggles. We will get him later. Oops. Didn't mean to do that. But to do that, <coughs> it all worked out. camera back. I can see through walls. I've missed this. broke. You can't really tell. He's got a helmet on. wonder how many times I'm going to have to shoot him in the face. Considering faces are already bulletproof. <laughs> Apparently it's a helmet made of paper. no match for my bullets. Hey, 
what's with you? Come on, wake up! He can't. Roll through quickly. Oh, I'm not dead. I'm happy I'm not dead. Oh, and they actually lost me. I didn't think that was possible in this game. Considering they can see me through doors and whatnot. Crawl back through. So, right here, I'm safe. Trying to pick that up. How am I supposed to know who to get? I don't need to talk to you. supposed to go. should be dead. I killed you. Quick save. <sighs> Oh crap. Oh, and there's more beyond the fence. Awesome. I don't think I need to deal with him. I'm gonna go back inside. Carter, he 
cannot have his arm in a cast or sling. You'll need to use the X-ray camera to scan everyone's arms until you find our guy. First off, how do you know I have that? Second, why couldn't you have told me that earlier? It's kind of important information. There's two guys over there. Can't go that way, it's locked. job to answer that. In fact, they might know it's me. As in, I don't have a Russian accent. It doesn't look like his arms are broken. not going to bother the nice special forces guy. It's a loud ass clock. I wonder if I can knock these guys out. Probably not. Paper beats rock. My fist being rock. Ooh, folder. No, not vodka. Folder. Save. Hey, there's a guy. <gasps> oh, right, this thing can shoot people. All right, he's history. <laughs> Get his clothes. Remember to take all of his documents, the helmet, everything. Find the guy with a broken arm, Carter. Kill the Spetsnaz, Carter. Bring me the body, Carter. I agree with you.
What's Berinsky planning to do with those nukes? He's preparing a putsch, attempting to seize power. I'm sure about it now. I've been watching him for some time. He wants to get rid of the president and take his position. He could use the bombs to blackmail the president, hand them over to terrorists, anything. Regardless of what he does, he intends to isolate the Soviet Union from the rest of the world. And with the heightened levels of hostility, Berinsky will be the country's first choice for the new president of the USSR. The people will believe that a stronger, more militant president is what the country needs. No more perestroika. The convoy will most likely assemble in the courtyard before departure. I have to get there quickly. And what about me? You have to escape on your own. I'm sorry, Carl. You are a self-serving bastard. Now. If I am discovered, all would be lost. Well, that's the end of that episode. We're, yeah, we're, we're free of uh, the self-serving asshole, though, so that's good. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode when we finally actually escape, apparently. All right, and welcome back to Cold War. We are no longer under the thumb of Grushkov. And we are getting out of here to th in this one. So, let's leave. Finally, it's time to get the hell out of here. Agreed. So where do we go to do that? I don't know. Is this vodka or plastic bottle? Ether flask. Good. I like ether. No one's telling us what to do now, so not really sure what to do other than try to leave. It's just one card. Cool. Quick save, just in case. These people have a tendency of being impervious to bullets. Weirdest game of staring contest ever. <laughs> Your flashlight blinked before my flashlight. Er, could take forever, though. Batteries can last a while. Wonder who will win. I wonder if I can shoot lights out. I haven't tried. Glass of vodka would help now. Nope. Check the toilet. Over there. Surrender now. Give it up, buddy. Oh, crap. All four of them. That's overkill. Ah. Yeah. Delicious overkill. Not noticed.
there's a truck here. I don't see anybody. So far, so good. You saw nothing. Quick save. Anything suspicious? No. All right. Uh, those are both locked. Security cameras. Looks like I gotta get to the control room inside this building. This guard is in the way, and those spitz nads are right over there. What do we got up here? Hmm. Forget drug. That sounds like that might work. Who's there? Nothing there. No. Oh, don't rise. Oh, oh. Hmm. Well, can we talk? Hmm. Maybe it's rats. Maybe. It's a man. Unit A and C report. I'm going to quick save. There's a guard right in there already. <laughs> awesome. I need cigarette. Piece of cake. <coughs> no problem at all. <sighs> And one guard. Hmm. Take it nice and easy here, just so we don't alert this guard about anything. Hope you're not sleeping again. I have bad feelings. Hmm. And that's our exit, I bet. Nice and easy. Just the way I like it. Quick save. Anything suspicious? No. Not sure which way this guard is coming. Is dangerous. I need cigarette. <clears throat> okay. So we need to get to that door over there. 
Now we need to figure out how to get past this guy and those guys. Quick uh, save. I think I have an idea. I'm going to use the coin. <sighs> Hope you're not sleeping again. What hurts you then? Knock this guy out. Nothing, but he's definitely close. I'm going to check it out. Nothing, but he's definitely close. I hope that they're so slow. Get them. There you are. Investigate. Gotta get through the door before there they notice. You are. Crap. Hello. Crap. That was not good. It's not how that was supposed to go. Not at all. Along those same lines, only not getting shot and dead. That's... I have bad feeling today. Oh, <laughs> Mm -hmm. I'm gonna try doping. Yeah. Suspicious yeah. object. False alarm. I might have found something. Crap. Going to hide. Unit A and C report. Uh, oh, not good. called two of his buddies and him wake up are you okay <laughs> We got another thing too soon. Ah. Ah, how to get around this, eh? Glass of vodka would help now. Try that. Walls area, immediately. Hope you're not sleeping around here, lad. See if that works. <coughs> I 
will find you. I don't think that works. Wake up! It might have. Are you okay? <coughs> You. Oh, crap. I'm checking the area. Ah. He's not here. I thought I had a plan. Coming you back. can't hide forever. I can try. Glass of vodka would help me. Like he escaped. That's right. I did. You can't hide for that. Do it off? Oh, I should stop drinking. <coughs> Where is he? Subject lost. Ah. I made it past the Spetsnaz. Coming back. Those are the ones I need to get by. They're stupid vision goggle things. Attention. Clear. Quick save. Failure turned into success. Hope you're not sleeping again. Glass of vodka would help now. And a quick save. Bet I have to get in that trunk. Battery. I like batteries. I tried getting a trunk before. I wonder if it'll work this time. Not exactly where I was, but okay. Mr. President, you must believe me. Hey, it's that asshole. I've never lied to you. What I am telling you is true. Yes, Comrade President. I realize how it must look, but Barinsky staged the entire scenario. Yes, it does sound insane, but I've seen Barinsky's orders deploying the Spetsnaz. He's really constructing nuclear charges at Chernobyl. Think about it, Comrade President. It makes sense. All I'm asking is that you make a surprise inspection of the power station. It will be impossible for Barinsky to hide his operation from you. Then you will see that all I am telling you is true. Thank you, Mr. President. You have made the right decision. We're not going to walk not away from be this. Sorry. Reporter and all. No, unfortunately, I can't promise you that. But still, I feel we might yet see one another. So, I guess we're going to Chernobyl then? Carter, what are you doing here? This place is crawling with Spetsnaz. You need to get out of here now! I agree. Quick save. Still think I need to get in that trunk. Can I get in there? I can. Are there any toys in here for me? No, just a hiding spot. Where that 
other guy is. Here he comes. Okay. So that means this plan might work. What? I hear that. Maybe I found some. I think I found something. Who's there? Oh, still got out. Well, so much for this little adventure. Once I'm through that gate, I'm out of here for good. Yes. No more Barinsky, no more KGB interrogations. I agree. No more bombs. Just go home. Hmm. And no story either. Ah, you asshole. What the hell are you thinking, Carter? You'd have to be nuts to walk into a nuclear power plant that's been taken over by a madman. You are an idiot. Still, this is definitely front page stuff. Maybe even Pulitzer Prize material. Hey, I recognize that car. It's Barinsky's Chaika, the one the bastard ran me down with. <laughs> oh yeah, great plan. Climbing Barinsky's trunk for a little road trip. What the hell am I thinking? You're an idiot. I'm just asking for trouble. Oh, let them have to put something back there. That would be awesome. Ah, look what's here. My lighter. Hmm. How did it get here? They put you in the trunk before, you moron. Open the trunk. Open the trunk. Ah. Ah. Should have opened the trunk. It would have been awesome. It's a long drive. I take it from the spinning watch. Ah, yes, it is a long drive. Chernobyl. There's another game set in Chernobyl that's stealth-based. What? Stalker? Yeah, Stalker. I should play that. Finally, we I understand it's a stealth survival horror sure. game. To that be could sure. be fun. Get me security chief Bondarchuk. I want to see him in the meeting room immediately. As you command, Comrade Barinsky. Security chief, huh? That could be an interesting conversation. Ah, uh, he could get out of the trunk on his own. All right. Um, so that's the end of this episode. We finally made it out of the prison, and now we're going into a nuclear power plant. Uh, knowing Michael Carter, we're probably going to cause the Chernobyl meltdown because we're an idiot. But we'll find out in the next episode, or after however many it takes for us to destroy Moscow. <laughs> yeah, so th thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next vid.